Today you're going to learn how to create an animation from a strip. So you're going to have a strip of characters like this one and you'll notice that here she's walking left, these three in a row she's walking right, here she's walking up, and then these three right here she's walking down. So when you cut them out and you put them together you're going to get those types of motions. Um, go ahead and save your Game Maker game as animation practice. So save as, and then call it animation practice, and save it in one of your network folders. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to load up a sprite. We're actually going to load up the sprite sheet. So click on the icon for creating a sprite. And instead of choosing load sprite, this time we're going to choose edit sprite. We're going to go to file and then create from strip. And then you're going to go ahead and navigate all the way to your network folder where you have the sprite sheets. And I'm going to choose the goth girl. And then I'm going to make sure that I check remove background. And click open. Okay, so what we want to do is we're going to cut out these, the first three. One, two, three. So I have to change this to 3. And notice it went down, but we want it to go across. So I'm going to change images per row to 3 also. Now notice these boxes around the character. If we choose it as is, it's going to cut her off. So right now the width looks fine at 32, but I'm going to have to change the height. I'm going to go ahead and change it and just make a guess at 40. 40 is going to cut off her feet. So I'm going to increase that, let's say, to 42. 42 still cuts off her feet, so we're going to go, how about 45? 45, 45 uh, grabs each one of them, and it's perfect. So then what I'm going to choose, I'm going to leave all of these alone, and I'm going to click OK, and cut out each um, individual uh, sprite, and then when you show preview and you put them together, it looks like she is walking down. So I'm going to hit the green check mark, and I'm going to call this sprite underscore down and then I'm going to click OK. Alright, well now you have the dimensions for the first uh, character, so you're going to do the exact same thing. Edit Sprite, go to File, Create from Strip, choose the same character, remove the background, open, and we know it's 32 by 45, and then this time, you don't want the, the first one, uh, first set, you want the second set. So I'm just going to click and drag these boxes down. Okay, and um, I'm going to capture this character, which is going to be moving left. Notice that all of these are zeros. This vertical pixel offset just means that it's 51 pixels going down because down is vertical. Click OK and here is she's going left. So I'm going to click the check mark and call it sprite underscore left. Okay, now go ahead and do the right and the up in the same exact way. Okay, now we have to create a single character that looks like um, she's in a stand position. So I'm going to go to my sprite down because that character looks like it's just facing the audience, facing the player. So I'm going to right click it and I'm going to duplicate this sprite. 
then it automatically opens it up. I'm going to choose Edit Sprite. And right here, I'm going to choose this sprite to um, represent the stand position. So I'm going to click on Image 2, Delete, Image 1, Delete. And then she completely has stopped and called um, stand. So uh, I'm going to hit the green check mark and call it sprite underscore stand. Now we're going to create an object. And then we're going to place all of those movements within one object. So click on the create object icon, the blue sphere. And I'm just going to call it object underscore goth girl and I'm going to add an event and then we're going to make her walk using the keyboard and I'm going to choose keyboard left and then so she's going to move left so I'm going to choose direction left and let's say at the speed of five I'm going to click OK well we want her to look like she is moving left so I'm going to go to mean one and I'm going to swap out the sprite or left. Change the sub image to negative one so it starts the animation from the beginning. And click OK. Then I'm going to add an event, keyboard right, do the same thing. Move right at the speed of five. Looks like right at the speed, uh, I'm sorry, uh, negative one for the sub image. Add event, keyboard, up, move, up, speed of 5, OK. Swap out the sprite for up. Oops, I need to go back in there and change that to negative 1. Add event, keyboard, down, move down, speed of 5. Okay, main one, swap it out for down, and negative one. Okay, now we're almost finished. Now, first of all, when Goth Girl just stands there, she has to look like something. She can't look like no sprite. So we're going to choose over here that she's going to look like stand, a standing position. And the last thing that we need to um, put um, or to program is when goth girl is standing there that she stops so we're going to add event um, keyboard and we're going to say no key when the player doesn't have his or her hand on the keyboard no key what what happens we're going to move and we're going to choose stop at the speed of zero and she also has to look like she stopped so i'm going to swap out the sprite for the stand position of stop and this time you're going to leave sub image zero because it's not an animation and you're going to click OK and then you have all of this programming done and OK. OK and the last thing that we have to do is create a room and put goth girl in a room and see if the arrow keys control her movement. So I'm going to click on add a room. I'm just going to maximize this and 16 by 16 is fine or the grid 16 by 16 pixels is fine. I'm just going to click anywhere, put goth girl in there, and I'm going to hit the green check mark to close and save it, and then I'm going to run it and see what happens. There's goth, goth girl going up, down, right, left. Notice she also is in the stand position when I let go of the keyboard, so she works just perfectly. And that's it, kids. That's how you animate a character from a strip um, of sprites. Thanks and good luck. Mm -hmm.